Number 1. Eating at a separate table when eating outside Kim was rumored to have spent the weekend in Miami with her daughter Northwest in 2018, and as they walked into Carpaccio, the reality star chose to sit at a table away from North and North's nanny. Insiders then told Page Six that Kim devised this arrangement since a videographer was close by. Number 2. The Black Code Kanye West, Kim's ex-husband, has told her security crew to dress in black, as he does with his own. In this manner, everyone blends into the background, allowing Kim to stand out even more. Simultaneously, the security staff is told not to speak with Kim. Number 3. Follow in the footsteps of Kim and the rest of the family When the family goes out in public, assistants and nannies must ensure that Kim and the rest of the family remain the focus of attention. As a result, they are apparently told to move behind the group when the cameras start flashing so as to not draw attention away from the reality stars. Number 4. Prepare to go above and beyond for Kanye and Kim If you go back a few years, you'll recall the public backlash directed at the Kardashian family after Stephanie Shepard, Kim Kardashian West's close friend and personal assistant, became COO, was fired. Shepard's blurring of professional and personal lines contributed to the drama, which is understandable given that she began her work with the Kardashians as a close friend of Kim and Courtney's before progressing to become Kim's personal assistant. Shepard recalls having to go all over San Francisco for a Cards Against Humanity card game for Kim's ex-spouse at one point. If your employer wants or needs something, you have to do whatever it takes to get it done, Shepard added. Make it happen without asking questions. Number 5. Please Don't Wake Up Kim Kim takes adequate sleep at night very seriously. As a result, the nannies are forbidden from waking her up. Even if Kim's children are sobbing, they were reportedly instructed not to disturb her. Kim will be less stressed due to this, and she'll wake up looking fresh. When Kim Kardashian moved into their new house, she reportedly spent about $1 million on beds and mattresses. Like, seriously? Number 6. Sweaters need to be folded in a specific manner Kim is quite popular about how she wants sweaters folded, and in one incident, a staffer didn't do it up to her standards. So Kim yanked one sweater out of the middle of the stack, completely destroying what had just been done. The house assistants are given training for perfectly folding her sweaters. Number 7. Signing NDA The Kardashians have lots of secrets involving their family and worldwide businesses. To prevent secrets from leaking out of their circle, the staff are asked to sign an NDA to avoid spilling the beans to the media. Mama Kardashian, Kris Jenner, has a stock of NDAs at her doors, so it's easy for the visitors to sign them and enter. Number 8. At all times, the closet must be spotless. When you're Kim Kardashian's house assistant, things are certain to get frustrating at times. Let's hope their employees are paid fairly. Kim is quite particular about the cleanliness of her wardrobe, and she insists on it being spotless at all times. She has pushed the workers to stay up late and, if necessary, organize the closet. According to a source, Kim's closet is the sacred ground in their house, and she wants it to look clean at all times. After returning from an event, she even had her personnel stay late at night to organize. Number 9. An assistant to pick up clothes Doesn't it seem appealing, especially after all the early outfit changes? We can almost picture her trying on outfits and letting them fall to the floor as she moves on to the next. She'll dash out the door as soon as she's selected the perfect clothing. According to one insider, Kim will toss the clothes on the floor and not bother to hang them up again. She clearly just clicks her fingers the assistant picks up where she left off. Number 10. No Jewelry Norm Kim was robbed in Paris in 2016 and robbers took most of her valuables. Kim was frightened and a little troubled by the incident. That's when the family realized they needed to make a change so that no one else in their family would be attacked again. Their home is heavily guarded and no one in the family is permitted to wear jewelry. This covers family members as well as any visitors. They mean it when they say no jewelry, including cheap jewelry and even studs. They will force you to hand over your belongings. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell.